to. We didn't really want that much. We didn't have any chemistry with. We had meh sex with because we had to. Because the guy we actually felt passion and chemistry for doesn't want us or makes us so emotionally unhinged and erratic that we can't look ourselves in the mirror anymore. The problem is, is a lot of women think that they have to settle just because for the simple fact that yes, the, the ratio of men to women is so low that they figure, okay, well, you know what? I got to just deal for this guy because, you know, the one that I really want. But also at the same time, if that's the type of vibe that you're going to give off and the guy can understand that and he feels that. So that's how he's going to treat you. You're not going to you're not going to attract anything higher. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Where peanut at? Yeah. It's this jump podcast. Oh, let's go. I have girlfriends in marriages right now who have settled with the nice, safe, secure guy we weren't all that attracted to. We didn't really mm. want that much. We didn't have any chemistry with. We had meh sex with because we had to. Because the guy we actually felt passion and chemistry for doesn't want us exactly. or she makes us so answer. emotionally unhinged it's and just... erratic that we can't look ourselves in the mirror anymore. Normally, those guys <laughs> that we settle Sex. for don't make it happen. That's how they be, too. To us, it's like, well, damn, if you're putting up with it, <laughs> okay, cool. It's you're so cool. When you want to go, that's fine. But in the meantime, I got no one else. You're here to give it. Cool. I accept. But my God, I see how pathetic you are. And I will definitely use that to my advantage. We'd leave you in a heartbeat if someone better came along. Can I go first? Go ahead. Can go, I ahead go, first? go ahead, bro. Go ahead, Rod. I know, I know he been itching a roaster. Go ahead, bro. Let, <laughs> Yeah, I mean. So it's funny that she says something like settle. Well, you we settle. Well, you actually settled because you <laughs> wanted to settle. Right. That mm -hmm. was all on mm -hmm. you. And so who's actually the pathetic one? She is. You're the pathetic right. one, ma'am, because you're choosing to be with somebody that you don't want to be with. And again, the men that don't want you don't want you for a reason. Cause you're trash, and so what happens don't is don't call her trash. She, Let's just say she's low vibrational. She's trash. Let's just say she's low vibrational. Tra don't call her trash because at some point, who's to say she may elevate to a better person? Well, when she so right now she's in a state of mind that is of negative. And she needs to turn it to be to be a little bit more positive. You, so as long as she's in that po negative state of mind, that is what she's going to attract. So you can dress it up however you want to. <laughs> it is, look, it is she it trash. Is. <laughs> and once you know, and once if you want a pig, it's still a pig. Once Oscar the Grouch get out the trash can, she could just be Oscar. But until then, she's Oscar the Grouch. So at the end of the day, get your mind right. And anybody who listens to a woman like that. Trust me, you're going to get the same vibes. Right. Because she is a retard. Like, at the end of the... I just I just don't like these people that go in here trying to give advice. And again, you have your own experience. Don't try to formulate this thing that uh, men are like this and this is what we do. Because again, a lot of women probably do... They do do that. And that's why they end up the cat lady. Yeah, well, this is the problem. This is the problem from a, from a female's perspective. The problem is, is a lot of women think that they have to settle just because for the simple fact that, yes, the, the ratio of men to women is so low that they figure, OK, well, you know what? I got to just deal for this guy because, you know, the one that I really want. But also at the same time, if that's the type of vibe that you're going to give off and the guy can understand that and he feels that. So that's how he's going to treat you. You're not going to you're not going to attract anything higher. So therefore, if you're not happy within yourself, what makes you think you're going to be happy with someone else if you're just having sex with somebody just because he's the only one that's available like come on what makes you think that he's not going to eventually leave you yeah, I mean, ridiculous uh, so those women who, who think they of high caliber i mean she's a a, a, a pretty woman but she got she, she got nothing up, to do with but, this. but she has it's a her, messed up disposition it's, it's, her, it's her mentality yeah, correct yeah. So they always going to be a cat lady because they so they as they get older they're reaching they can't get the type of men that they want to pull. 
So they like, you know what? I'm going to settle for this type of man. Desperation because it's like, okay, well, you know what? I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, grow old and be alone. So, you know what? Let me just deal with this guy just because he's the one that's available. But also at the same time, what people don't realize is you settling for this guy. You never really know who you're missing out by you making yourself available to the wrong person. Just stay single until that time happens. They ain't going to find nobody. But it's, it's really because what really needs to be where women not all women so i don't think that it's all of y'all but a lot of women need to at the end of the day guess what the fives have to go with the fives so like as men we know i'll know if i'm a seven i'm looking for the sevens or the eights or the sixes women will be a two and think that they deserve the 10. <laughs> be with the twos. So her, she might be cute, okay, but she might really be a six. Go look for the guys that are sixes. Women women just automatically think, and again, this is not all women, but women will think, oh, because I told myself I'm a 10, I belong with the tens. That's not true. You don't, you don't rank yourself. You are ranked by what the field thinks, not by what you think. That's how it goes. So a woman like her will think because she's cute. Oh, I'm with the tens. And guys will be like, nah, she really a four. And she this whole time she trying to that's why she say, because the guys that you that we really want, they we, we can't we don't have them or we can't get them. We, we yeah. Can't, we can't get them. Because you're a four. Yeah, but also at the same time, like what is your standards? Like sometimes you people need to understand, okay, this is what I like, or sometimes they just go for whatever. Like you have to be able to understand yourself first before you can understand what type of person person that you ha you can be in a relationship with. that's fine well, but she you thinks her standards are <coughs> but you much have higher to, than what they actually are be, which she that's why she doesn't a, a lot of them think that she because they don't understand the because market she, they don't understand the marketplace not only she don't understand the marketplace she don't understand herself yeah but she i understand that she don't understand herself but she has to know what the market wants first because she might think whatever she wants to think if the market don't want that then guess what if the market thinks that you're a four you have to understand i, it. I know you can't talk on this market marketplace thing cj I just, I just don't like the fact that you when you say marketplace you make it seem like we're an item that can be bought well, like i can't be bought no 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 no. that's 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 the wrong mindset so think hey, about how it. much for the honey brown so, <laughs> so think of it like think, I am priceless. Think, I am so priceless. think about it like this <laughs> at the end of the day at the end of the day dating is like like a job interview you're trying to fill a position right so you have to put out the best resume well if i have a bunch of resumes and, and if me and los are looking at the resumes and we think this person might give us their resume and think it is top tier and me and him look at the resume like yeah she's the customer service rep but it's not, not always the just the resume is also about the representation what are but you the resume showing? is the what representation you, yeah, but that's no, what i'm saying what are you showing in person but even person? still even before but but even before that right. At the end of the day, you have to show us who you are first. And it's not by what you believe. It's what we believe. And un unfortunately, there's there's less men. Mm -hmm. So we have more option. That's what women don't understand. They think they could just show up the way they want. And it's just like, cool, I'm a dude. No, we got the we have the power. So guess what? We can choose 10 of no, you. No, we have the power. No. What do you mean y'all have the power? We no. have the power. Not in dating. Y'all do not have the power. <laughs> we have the power. No, y'all don't. Women's have, empowerment. Have, have time, they be, have time they, be, they, they be holding out on the, on the, on the Gucci power. Oh, damn. <laughs> First of all. You just turn back up. <laughs> yeah, hey, turn back up. There we go. See, see? And, and look, and I just turned down. I was I was chilling. I was chilling. Nah, nah. <laughs> we don't turn it down in this joint. We turn that motherfucker all the way up, boy. <laughs> listen, don't listen to her. She will have all y'all single. Real, real, real right. Do not listen to people like her. Nah, but first but of all, don't say that. She I'm will have y'all single. Joke. Not nah, but, you. I'm talking about her. But but video. You can tell. She probably was a fucking B when she uh, that's, was younger. Wait a minute, what you, you mean tell. was? Who's to say that she probably still is? And you know why? But you know it's worse because now she's settling. Now she realized. Oh damn! But I'm you, about to be by myself. But so you, you know what? Let me take what I can get. But you, you know why she? You know why she probably was a B? Because that same guy that she was settling with, he piped her head up to think that she was a ten. And yeah. she was really a four. So she got all these these simps telling her, oh, my God, <laughs> she's the best. And the real guys is like, nah, she all right. <laughs> and now she's seeing right. that now that the Simps is gone, the guys yep. that she's trying to get, they like, yeah, you was never that girl from the beginning. <laughs> you was cool, but yeah, nah, well, we, we ain't really into you. 
now she's realizing, oh damn, reality just set in because the yeah. marketplace is telling me. Yeah. Well, you know, you know, you know what they say. Marketplace behind every beautiful woman is a man who's so tired of her shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's just that's just anybody, not just a woman. That's behind a woman. That's behind a man. It's oh like, man! So we move on to video number five. <laughs> See, you don't want to hear the truth. See, you don't want to hear the truth. What yeah. makes you think it's not a tired ass woman behind your uh, bed? Y'all got y'all got to stop moving the goalposts. <laughs> yeah, yeah don't stop take, moving the goalposts. Damn! <laughs> if we talking about y'all, we on y'all. What? <laughs> Every time we talk not. about y'all, because no, like, like, men, like, men no, 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 no. I'm to kick this field goal right here. Stop moving the goal, we talking about women right now. Y'all gotta sit back and and, and, and take it. Hey. Cause you know how many years we heard niggas ain't shit. Blah, 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 blah. Dead beat this. Blah, y'all don't do nothing. Now it's our turn. Now we finally saying, oh listen, guess what? <laughs> Maxwell had the song. What was the song? A woman's worth. He gave y'all that. Oh, that's right. My, that, that's why, yes. that was thirty years ago though. Now it's our turn. That's my. But I was looking at. Shout out to us. I was looking at this this uh, podcast. It was a guy who was arguing with a girl because. The 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 guy was calling women hyenas. Oh, damn. Yeah. Yo, what? and that's actually in the urban dictionary. Yes, hyena. Hyenas. Yeah, I know what a hyena is. You know is, what a hyena is? Really? You know what a hyena it's is? It's an animal. No, I'm, I'm talking about a whoop. Look it up. Since, since since you got the phone with you, look look up in the urban dictionary hyena. What what a hyena is. And the woman she was getting mad. She was like, Well, I'm not gonna say that. And I'm like, let me look this shit up. And I'm like, oh shit, that, that is an actual word in the dictionary, hyena. <laughs> Wait, they calling women a bl- please hyenas yeah Fe- fellas listen yeah and she was getting mad no, normally I, um, and, and, you know. and, and it was crazy because he was like well y'all women refer to men as dogs so we can't refer to y'all as hyenas listen fellas okay if you got if you got a black woman anywhere in your vicinity call ass hyenas do not <laughs> call Damn her that. a hyena Call ass it's, 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 it's quite a few different definitions here. But what, what does it say? So to hog something entirely without saving for others. And it's another one that says sexually aggressive teenage girl who preys on older men. And it's another one that says an opportunity, cowardly social scavenger who seeks gratification in the destruction of others. Friendships, relationships, a weak, malignant character. I see one that says a woman who thinks she's better than a man. Can, hyena, that's it. Can be pleasant, that's what but he generally was has a disagreeable disposition. That's Negative and confrontation. About. Damn, I know a lot of hyenas. hyenas. <laughs> oh, then it says there's another one. It says a group of women usually found in the workplace. They are loud, obnoxious, rude, and can make life difficult for their coworkers, that especially just, other women, just men, and not safe. Talk trash, spread rumors, and not organized. Yeah, that tripped me. I said, oh, shit, I did not know that. that. You know, I'm all day with it now. So now we can replace a uh, bitch with hyena. Ah, yeah. If you don't get your hyena dumb ass. hyena ass out First of here. First of all, how about we just be respectful towards each other oh, and Lord. just not call each other names at all? How about what? that? How about we start there? Y'all start with y'all. Y'all start with y'all first. When you, how, when, how about we start there? Y'all start with y'all. When y'all stop doing it, then we won't call But y'all. hold up. How right. about y'all supposed to be the kings? Y'all supposed to lead oh, us. So start leading. Uh, now we supposed lead. to lead. lead. Now we the leaders. Y'all be the leaders and we follow. Stop. So be 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 our representatives. All the you know women who <laughs> independent, throw your hands up. I throw, how we the leaders? All the you know, you know, making you, money. You, you know, you know what I say, man. I, I should always be like, yeah, you know what? They don't give out backseat driver's license because you know what I mean? Because you ride with a woman, they want to go there. With, then you should have drove. Do you want to drive? <laughs> yep. <laughs> nah, nah, see those you know, and see, that's why I drive. Damned if you do, damned yeah, if you, you don't. Know, I, my grandfather used to say, I'm going to fuck this cat and you can play with the kittens. Oh. Like, and, oh, whoa. <laughs> what? Yeah. He said, I'm going to fuck. Oh, we shouldn't be cursing because we are so close to being monetized. He used to always say, I'm going to screw this cat and you can play with the kittens. You take care of the babies, which means mind your business while I do this, <laughs> and you sit back. <laughs> okay, never heard of that one Shout before. Shout out to Pop Pop. That yeah. That's sudden. Yeah, you know them old schools. They always had some kind yeah, of. They, what he yeah, said, saying like, like <laughs> it's colder than a witch's tit. <laughs> oh, I've heard of that one before. <laughs> I heard an old head say, "Man, y'all, y'all little, y'all little Negroes don't know. Y'all ain't seen nothing. Y'all know nothing. I done seen butter drop." Damn. I don't know what that means. Well, I ain't gonna lie, that's how cold. <laughs> I was like, damn. That's how cold is ice. <laughs> some butter drop. Okay. Yeah, I mean, hey, hey, chocolate. 
Or, or no, honey, no, okay. Honey, honey dip. Oh my god. I done seen butter drop. I seen butter Young drop. Snapper. Now I said this your podcast. Let's man. go. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. Like, comment, subscribe. Man. We on video that, number five. Video already? number five, man. Damn. Yeah, hit Thank that. you for joining us today, y'all. Make yeah, sure y'all yeah, like yeah. and y'all definitely commenting with me. Yes, yes, yes. Sir. Yes. yes, sir. So video.